All right, question for you. Are you experiencing a lack of energy, fatigue, weight gain, cold hands and feet, and difficulty concentrating? The problems are not in your head, okay? You may have hypothyroidism. Dr. Stephen Hotze, founder of the Hotze Health and Wellness Center, is here with some help that involves natural, bioidentical hormones. I haven't seen you in forever. I what, you look grand. Well, thank you very much. Well, look, look how well you did on the pronunciation of all these medical terms. Well, I've been I'm talking to you I'm long impressed. enough. I ought to know. I'm impressed. <laughs> I ought to know. All right, so let's explain for everyone who does not know what exactly is hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is low thyroid. Mm -hmm. It's the lack of production of thyroid hormones, which are made by the thyroid gland in the neck, mm -hmm. and which enable your cells to produce and use energy. It's a low production of those, or it's a poor assimilation into the cells of those thyroid hormones for a number of different things can cause that, one of which is autoimmune thyroiditis. So that's that sometimes when you feel like a bag of sand and you're laying in the bed and you're having to will yourself to get up? Associated yeah. with other things well, as well, maybe cold hands. But let's look at some of the symptoms. Okay. All right, and because there there are several, and this is often misdiagnosed. Right. So let's go through some of these, Dr. Hotze. Well, the key ones: low energy, mm -hmm. a decline in energy, difficulty with weight, mm -hmm. inability to focus and think clearly, depressed moods, mm -hmm. insomnia, joint muscles pain, joint muscle aches and pains, okay. sluggish bowel function, loss of romantic moods and inclinations, mm -hmm. like. You just, you don't want to, you're you not interested. You don't feel like being bothered. <laughs> <laughs> just don't feel like being bothered. Dry skin, also fluid retention, um, and recurrent and chronic infections. Right, this is very common in, in hypothyroid individuals. They will, they'll come in and say, you know, I was never sick till I had my first baby, and I've been sick, I don't know, three or four times right. a year since then. I've been on antibiotics, I've got va uh, vaginitis, and i got a host of problems. Right, right. Why did it happen? And that's the decline in the thyroid hormones, which really are caused by a number of different things, but one can be, as women march through their menstrual life, the decline in their natural female hormones exacerbates the decline in thyroid function and thyroid hormone assimilation at the cellular level. So are most women likely to experience yes. this? Yes. Really? Most women, oh, during their lifetime, as they march through their menstrual life, are going to have an imbalance in their female hormones, mm -hmm. and that will lead to a production of antibodies that'll bind thyroid hormones and they just won't do well and they'll have symptoms of low thyroid. And how do you treat it? Well, you treat it with very simple supplementation. You simply replenish the body with the thyroid you used to make. Well, wait, I beg to differ. Because before you are diagnosed as having hypothyroidism, you start doing everything else. That's right. <laughs> which you sometimes to, exacerbates the yeah, problem. Yeah, well, often, what do you do? Crash diets, yeah. maybe you go to the doctor and you go, you tell him your symptoms, and it goes, your blood tests are normal, you're depressed, you put you on an antidepressant, mm -hmm. which causes you to gain weight, you get more mm -hmm. depressed, mm -hmm. you lose romantic moods, and you get more depressed, you yeah. can't sleep well, you feel crazy, you get mood swings, or he puts you on sleep medication or a host of other drugs, and the next thing you know, like, I, I don't feel, I feel terrible. But so, so I don't understand why it's so often overlooked or misdiagnosed. Because most of us as physicians were trained to give a drug for a okay. symptom, mm -hmm. and so the... Drug salesman come in and details you on the drugs. You have these drugs. Oh, if a woman doesn't sleep, we'll give her Ambien. Or the, right. she, if she feels a little mood swing, well, I'll give her a little Prozac. And mm -hmm. next thing you know, you're passing out all these drugs because and you, you have a drug for the drug. Because you don't have time to listen, sit down, and let her explain all all the mm -hmm. symptoms. And see, and that's what you do at that's, your facility. Right. Every, you just sit down and you talk. And you listen. Yeah. The most yeah. important thing you can do with a woman is listen. Well, hello, men. <laughs> That's Hello. true. I've been trying to tell my husband that for 10 years now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about something else. It's autoimmune thyroiditis. That's, that's, that's a genetically inherited trait where a person, immune system, makes antibodies to their own system, mm -hmm. and in this case, to the thyroid gland. Okay. And these are proteins that are made by the immune system, which normally is supposed to fight bacteria and viruses, but it's making antibodies to the thyroid gland. <coughs> Boy. What, you're okay? <laughs> Do we need a doctor? <laughs> Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> but, uh -huh. but, but the uh, the antibodies <laughs> take two. <laughs> the antibodies. The, the antibodies bind onto the thyroid hormone, and it can't be assimilated into the cells. And the well. thyroid is what gives us the energy to That's get right. up and move. In. All right, and you've got the natural solution, which is Armor Thyroid. Okay. We don't okay. use the synthetic thyroid mm -hmm. because we found in our experience 
It just doesn't work as well as the natural okay. thyroid. Right. We are out of time, but for someone who wants to go get a test to find out if they have hypothyroidism, what is the name of that test? Well, if they want to check for autoimmune thyroiditis, they need to check their anti-thyroid antibodies. Okay, and that's what you ask your doctor uh, right. for. All right, very good. Thank, Thank you so you much, so Dr.